Hi guys, Robbie 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode. Next round is Assen. And then we go to the brand new track of Kimi Ring, which uh, I've not played yet, so that's going to be interesting. Right, let's go. Didn't qualify. I did qualify, did I? I uh, had some issues. Ran out of fuel. Went well. So we are starting in 18th place, which isn't ideal. And... Well, oh, that's saying soft then, isn't it? Soft front, soft rear, full tank of fuel. Let's do this. Okay, so a few people going for mediums. Just a few minutes to go until the ground. Yeah, qualifying was an absolute mare. Did not go well at all. But doesn't matter. At least it gives us something to do during the race as well. Okay. And away we go with a bad start. So, not ideal. That's fine, just gives us more work to do. 28th place at the moment, down at turn one. And we haven't really made any progress yet, which is a little bit worrying. We've done two corners already and made no progress, still in 28. Okay, can we get a better exit through Disturbant? Yes, we can. We've made up a few places now. Get a bit of slipstream as well. Oh, this is working well now. This is working very well. Through the king. And we are up to 20th position. 20, uh, 19th even. Right, so we've got eight laps to do around here, and we're already up to 18th place, which is where we started. So we lost 10 positions off the start, we've now made them up. Now we've finally made up one position over our qualifying position, so that's much better. I'm going to tighter line through here, make up a few more positions. That's worked well. Ninth place, there we go. Didn't seem like I just went past that many people, actually, to be fair. Didn't seem like I went past nine people, but we obviously did. Oh, we're late on the brakes into the chicane. And we're up to eighth place. So that's the end of lap one. We've made progress, made very good progress, actually, so that is good. See if we can do anything about Fanati. Alright, power down to one because I completely forgot about that as we went over the line. We don't want to run out of fuel, do we? It's me going wide. Okie dokie, so. Can't quite power past Fanati at the moment. Use a bit of slip strength, get past that husky. And we are through, I think. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. It's fine. Seventh place. 0.4 of a second behind our friend Suzuki, who has had an absolute nightmare of the uh, last couple of rounds. One of them, my fault. Um, but other than that, he's still on. He's still on the bike. That's the, the main thing. Now I'm going to go careful getting past Suzuki because I do not want to influence him crashing. Yeah, he left me loads of room there. He knew I was there, didn't he? Didn't want me anywhere near him. So we're up to sixth place. Vietti is in fifth. That is our next target. Through Ramshuk and down towards the gut to Chicane. Yeah, we are a bit later on the brakes into the Chicane. Slipstream Vietti, 145.3, 144.7 from me. Fastest lap of the race for Robo46. Okay, 
Wow. The two Leopard Hondas are out front. No surprises there. Still can't, can't get past Vietti at the moment. Struggling. Rev limiter a little bit there. Right, can we get him now? Put me up the inside for the next corner. Thank you very much. That is fifth position. Right, Nico Antonelli is in fourth, and we've got Nino in third. And past Antonelli we go. We're on the wrong side. I'll try and cut back underneath him if I can. He'll go slightly wide. Yes, he does. Up the inside. Job done. Thank you very much. And get the uh, Mino as well. No, no, he's not having it. He's not giving in. Right, okay then. Gonna be like that. Bit of a gap to the Leopard duos at the front. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go into the chicane up the inside. Nice. That worked very well. That's the line, 45-4 that time. Can I catch the two at the front? The teammates run in there, uh, close to each other. I mean, it's obviously a given that we're not going to win the team championship. There's literally just me and the team at the moment until hopefully sometime in May when they do an update where you can actually... Uh, hire a, a teammate because otherwise you're never going to win a team championship no matter what class you're in 1.7 I am behind we'll see what happens at the next couple of splits if the gap is going up or if it's coming back down hopefully it's coming down 1.8 it's gone up okay not what I wanted to see The gap has gone up again at the next split, um, and I could be in trouble. Oh, I've gone wide, I've gone wide. I took an AI line then. It looks like they've... Yeah, I think I've closed it a little bit, not by much. I do think it's come down slightly. 1.4 it has. It's come down 0.4 of a second. I think Messia is actually pulling away from uh, second place at the moment. Just a little bit. Ooh, oh, really? I swear every penalty I've had so far has been 0 0.264 of a second. Every single time. Well, that just means that we've got to get in the lead and win by more than that. Okay. Gap does look like it's coming down again. Oh, that's wide. That's way too wide. Mm, I don't think it's come down much. 1.3, yeah, it's come down barely any at all in the, uh, the first split. That was great English there by me. It's come down by barely any at all. 1.4 has gone up. No. It's going the wrong way. Come on. I'm really going to have to push to try and close that gap down. It looks like it's coming down again a little bit. It's gone wide again. Taking their line through there. Oh, bugger. The double shifted by accident. That wasn't good, that's really let him go a little bit more. 1.3. We might run out of time here. The gap is not coming down very quickly at all. Come on, come on, come on. What are you over the line? You're still 1.3. 
Ah, you're 1.2. So in that whole lap, I basically made up a, a tenth of a second. If I do that on this lap and the next two, then we are not going to win. this time or or just go wide again just ignore ignore yourself Robbo just do the complete opposite of what you say one point one so the gap has come down but this is a section where they usually pull away a little bit one point one still so they haven't really that visibly looks like it's come down. Oh, I think we're getting there. We are getting there. Need to go careful through the double right now. Don't go too wide. Take a different line. Much better, much better. Much better. Yeah, we're definitely closing now. That gap has got to be under a second now, surely. It is, it's 0.6, we've taken a big chunk of time out of them. And we've got two laps to take two places, one place a lap. That would do quite nicely. That's love the race, 44.6. And the gap is half a second to second place. It is on. Basically with them, come on. Slipstream them now. Yeah, that's not really working, is it? They might have uh, turned their power up to two. Mine's still on one for the time being. We'll definitely turn it up to two for the final lap. But we are closing again. We're closing again. Yes, we're nearly with them. We should be able to make a pass very soon. Oh, come on. Right, try and get up the inside when they go wide. Come on, get it through, get it through, get it through, get it through. Thread the needle. There we go, second place. Now our main championship rival in the lead. Just got to get him now. I hope that his teammate doesn't. Mess me up. Oh, hit the rev limiter again there. Oh, much later on the brakes. Get it stopped. Right, power up to two. This is it. Final lap time. I'm not really gaining down the straight. Too hot into turn one. Oh dear. Let's let him off the hook a little bit. Hitting the rev limiter as well. Bike is firing bullets behind. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, get the run, get the run, get the run. Slipstream now, here we go. Here we go. We're gaining, not as quick as I was hoping though. Here we go. Oh, it was like right on the rev limiter then. Sixth gear through that corner. It doesn't like sixth gear through there. It just hits rev limiter. But as soon as I come out the corner, it's fine. Right. Oh, up the inside. We're through. We are in the lead on the final lap with just a few corners to go. I was going to wait until the final chicane, but I thought, you know... Just in case I mess up the corners before, we're not going to be close enough to have a go into the chicane. Well, our fuel is very low. We've got half a lap remaining in the tank. But that's 
fine because we've literally got to get through this chicane, get the run to the line. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Pulled a bit of a wheelie there and went straight across. Have we done it though? Have we done it by enough? Because they were still pretty close at the end. Yes, we did by half a second. So let's take a look at a graphic of the official results of the just finished Moto3 race. There we go. Had to work for that one. But again, another great race. 37 point lead. Nice. That's what we like to see. Okay then, we got a new challenge in the next race. A brand new track. Rider has been able to impose a frantic pace on today's race, and now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party. Keith, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to turn you off, I think, because he's just saying the same things over and over again, and it's so annoying. I've heard him say that so many times on Motor GP19. Alright, job done. A good job done. Right then. Yeah, we have got a new challenge for the next round. Brand new circuit. Looking forward to trying it. I've not yet done any laps around Kimi Rank, so this is going to be completely brand new for me. Alright. Credits. Got a good amount of uh, credits. Oh, just shy of a hundred grand. Well, I only done the quick lap simulation. Mainly because, uh, yeah, we're got one week left on the engine, three weeks left on the frame. It is time for Kimi Ring. Never been here before. Engine. Is engine done? Uh, okay. Right, fine. Done. Kimmy Ring. Uh, seven laps around here by looks of it. Right, let's go. Let's go and uh, try it out for the first time. So, enjoying this track, FP3, which will actually be out in a separate video because I've done a video of basically how I've, or how I go about learning new tracks and how I've gone about learning this particular track. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a really good track, especially for the Moto 3s. Feels really good. So we unfortunately can't get Slipstream off Antonelli because we've gone past him. There's quite a long straight this one. And we've got a hairpin coming up. So my fastest lap in FP3 was a 57-0. And Suzuki's done a 57-1. And they were in the 58 in FP3 because I was quickest in FP3. Someone's just done a 56.9. So I definitely need to be in the 56 as I did say in the uh, previous, well, in the Kimi Ring video that I could do a 56. I got my, uh, my stuff together. So I'm hoping that this one will be a good 56. This, I love this corner. You get that right. It's so satisfying. I'm actually enjoying the track as a whole. I think I prefer it to Burry Ram. I mean, it's 1.2 under. Okay. Yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable around here. Then why first start an FP3, run to the line, get a little bit of slipstream from Fernandez. The 55-2. 55-2. Much quicker than what I've done in FP3. Wow. 
Okay. Let's go race then. Right, let's do this. Um, soft front, soft rear, full tank of fuel. Ready to race. A few others gone for soft softs, so that's good. The riders have finished their warm-up lap and are now lined up on the starting grid. Only a few seconds left before the Finland Grand Prix will begin. That is literally one of the first new things I've heard Keith say so far in this game. Finland. <laughs> that's literally the only word I've heard him say which is new. Right, here we go. Not a good start, but that's fine. If we were like over a second quick than everyone, then that's fine. Oh, Suzuki's already gone. That officer, it wasn't me, I swear. I was nowhere near him. Nothing to do with me that time. I wasn't even directly behind him. All right, calm down, people. <laughs> they just throw themselves at the scenery. Right, so we're in sixth position. We're getting a little bit of slip through. Might just start gaining towards the end of this straight, and we are. On brakes for the hairpin. So they, they go very wide there. Right, this is a section that I did struggle with in FP3. But, that was working well that time. Through the long left. A bit wide, but it's fine. No surprises who's out front. Okay, so yeah, we've got a good run there. Just treating that double right as one corner. Oh, I've messed that up. Damn it. Oh, we've lost a position as well. Damn a sec. That's like my favourite corner and I completely got it wrong. Alright, so... Through this left, and then we have a right, which we can pretty much take flat out if we get it right. Down. Oh no, 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 no! I don't, I don't really want to have to go into the final corner because I think it would go quite badly wrong. But in real life, you know, that's definitely going to be a good place to try and overtake. We've got that first corner. Spot on. Just behind Antonelli. In fact, we are past Antonelli. He's going to come back up the inside. I'm going to cut back underneath and get the run out. Maybe even get Lopez as well. Popped a little wheelie as well. Oh, uh, we're back to losing positions. I can hear him. I can hear him. There they are. Try and stay in second place if I can. Power back down to one. Oh, no, 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 no. Stick with it. So the leader's got a bit of a lead at the moment. We're going to have to try and close that down again. Just like at uh, Assen. So, point 0.7. So we have closed in. Try and get the next right hander right. Such a good corner, especially considering it's fairly blind as well. That was better, but very wide on the exit. We are with Messia now. Might be able to get past very soon. Here we go underneath. No, not quite. Oh, dare I? No, 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 no. I don't do it there. So we're now on to lap number three. Fastest lap of the race. 56.7. So we, we can follow Messia for a little bit. I do feel very, very confident around here, I'm not going to lie. Despite going on the curb, we've got a better exit. But 
we're going to be side by side. I expect this bike's going to be a little bit quicker. Yeah, it is. And back into the lead. Now, this is another place to outbreak someone. But not this time. Yeses. Staying where we are for the time being, just two tenths behind. We've got a pretty big gap over Lopez in third. Gaining, we're gaining. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Try and get the exit. Oh, that worked. That's worked. Are we through? We're not through. We're not quite. We did have a bit of a slide with the rear. Gaining again. We gained through that penultimate corner. Wasn't the fastest way around the final corner then. So we are on to lap four of seven. He's gone very wide on the exit of turn one. That's allowed me to close right in again. Oh, look at the drive! Nearly into the back of him. Again, we'll try and cut back and get the exit. Side by side again, momentarily in the lead. That's not going to last. Here he comes. That's the lead gone. And we've got it back. Not for long. Oh, we're good here. We're good here. We're not in the lead. He's gone wide, he's gone wide, he's gone wide, he's gone wide. Yeah, so easy to, to get sucked into a corner around here. We're back with him. Gone too wide there. Yeah, so through this right hander. Quite make a, a move stick at the moment. Oh, that's way too wide there. That's lost me a bit of time. Through the final corner again. We're going on to lap seven. Lap seven. I can't count. We're going on to lap five of seven. Bit of slipstream. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Is this the one? Is this the one? No, it's not. The thing is, I don't want to do a dodgy overtake. And some of the overtakes that I think about making seem to me like they're going to end badly, so I kind of back out of them. Nothing down the straight, but that's fine. And I'm not close enough to have a go into the next corner. But again, that's fine. He'll go wide anyway. In fact, we both do. Gets through here. He's gone wide there. So I'll definitely get a better run through turn nine. Ooh, the double right. Okay, we're right on him now. That was pretty spot on then. We've 
got two laps to go. We're still in second place. That was better. I didn't put the throttle on too early that time like I did the previous lap. Here we go. We are into the lead. Oh, no, 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 no. That is why I don't want to overtake into the final corner. I was in, in the lead. But he... Uh, decided to go into me so I'll let him back pass because he did nearly come off didn't say any damage though which I'm quite surprised at because that was a uh, big old whack right let's try and get past him cleanly this time Yeah, that is uh, what I'm kind of afraid of happening to, into the final corner. Although I was in front, obviously went on the brakes a little bit earlier. And then our two lines converged on each other. Alright, we need to find a way past. Obviously, so we've got power mapping too to use on the final lap, so that will give us a bit more grunt, especially down the straight. Which might be our best place to get him because we get a great run onto that straight. We get a good run through this right hander usually, not so good that time. Oh, we're right on him take a wider line which usually gives me a slightly better run out of the corner and it has and try and get the exit out of here get the run through turn 14 again we could do the same as last lap but that didn't end well did it so we'll, uh, not do that again right final lap time Power on to two. Well, we're already past. Oh, wide into turn one, though. He is through. Let's take a weird approach to turn two, though. Turn three. Through turn four. This is where I could be able to get him if we get the run out. Yes, that worked an absolute treat. Is he going to be able to stream me though? Will he get me past? Will he get me back? He's gaining. I think. He's got to be right there alongside me. Down into the hairpin. Is he there? No he's not. That's a surprise. He obviously backed out of that move. I think we might have this one. Yeah, I think we've got this one wrapped up. Yeah, I have to say I am enjoying this track. Away from him now. The gap is 0.8 of a second. Just two corners to go. And that is job done. What an awesome track. And a good win. While the riders complete their victory lap, let's take a look at the final ranking of the Moto3 Team race. Teamwork. Reach the race objective 10 times in career mode. Nice, a few non finishers. So that's three people that did not finish that race. They didn't even set a lap. So they obviously uh, crashed up the first lap and got too much damage. It was a perfect day for him. In addition to the victory, his position also earns him 25 priceless championship points.
That was good. Championship is getting ever closer to us. Yeah, enjoyed that. That was a great track. Nice. What's next? Bruno, I think. And then possibly Red Bull Ring. Seems weird having some of the races in different uh, places in the calendar this year. Contract state is secure. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. We've got over a hundred grand in credits now. So that's good. Um, okay, so yeah, Bruno and then Red Bull Ring. And then we go to uh, our home race at Silverstone. Frame is 100% complete now. Can't do any more upgrades on that. Um, I'll tell you what though. Obviously, we don't need to do any more. Um, but it says they're still working. Can we not just, just put everyone on the engine now? We just put more on. Because they don't need to be working on the frame anymore because the frame's complete. So everyone, all hands on deck for the engine. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, they're all doing something. Right, anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.